me from Bulldog Stadium saying good night from Fresno. Welcome to ESPN's coverage of college football on ABC presented by K Jewelers. We have the South Florida Bulls and number 16 in the BCS standings, the Louisville Cardinals from Papa John's Cardinal Stadium here in Louisville, Kentucky. In the Big East, Rutgers with a win today. They set the pace at 4-0. Three unbeatens in the conference, including the Cardinals. They are 12 unbeatens as of now remaining in the FBS. Mark Neely along with Ray Bentley. Glad to have you with us. South Florida is here with head coach Skip Holtz in his third season as they look to snap a four-game losing streak. And Charlie Strong right now has his team playing extremely well. That 6-0 start, as I mentioned, their best since 2006 when they went 8-0 to begin that year. Louisville, by the way, has won the toss and deferred. So they will kick off. And these two teams, Mark, have a history of playing very close ball games together. So I expect a nice one here this afternoon. Terrence Mitchell and Marcus Shaw are back deep to receive the kick from Josh Appleby. And we are underway from Louisville, Kentucky. From a couple yards deep, it's brought out by Shaw. He gets to the 20-yard line. 25 makes a cutback to the middle and is pulled down at the 34. A late flag comes flying in. Andrew Johnson on special teams with a tackle for the Cardinals. Here's our referee today. John McDade. And we're holding on South Florida. Fifth year senior B.J. Daniels out of Tallahassee, Florida, the quarterback for the Bulls. And he's a guy that can get it done on any given day. You know, you, sometimes you don't get the best. Sometimes you get an unbelievable performance from B.J. Daniels. And usually it depends on how he comes out and starts a ball game. He's a double dual threat kind of guy. Still has the feet that can shake things loose. He's a running threat. And he's got a big arm. Can throw the ball 65, 70 yards in the air. So with the penalty, they begin at their own 10. They have two backs. Lamar and Shaw and keeping it Daniel straight ahead finds a crease and gets across the 20 to the 21 yard line He picks up 11 yards for a first down Keith Brown and Preston Brown making the tackle for the Cardinals And that's what I'm talking about with BJ Daniels and they will run that zone read offense with him to try and get him loose Daniels on first down again play fake looks left passes and immediately hit was Lamar out of the backfield by Hakeem Smith, a strong safety coming up. And with forward progress, he maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. Louisville safeties are very good ball players. Smith and, and then Calvin Pryor, the free safety. These guys are all over the field. They seldom make mental errors. And that time, Smith had the coverage on that back, and he blew him up. And lost a yard on that. Now it's Shaw in the backfield. Second down and 11. And off straight ahead in some room, at least finding a crease. Shaw, he's across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Again, Keith Brown and Preston Brown with the tackle. That picks up 11 yards. And they go no huddle with a quick snap. Daniel swings it out. This is Derek Hopkins. Heads to the sideline, turns up field, and has a lot of room inside Louisville territory before he's upended at the 34-yard line by the free safety, Calvin Pryor. And that quick tempo is what helps South Florida get this thing going because you're going to see they're not really lined up and ready. These two guys over here, and then he blitz the inside guy. The safety shows up late. You got two for two to block. That's great execution and play calling right there by the Bulls. First down, South Florida ball just outside the Louisville 40 yard line. And from the pistol, is the handoff to Lindsey Lamar. Cuts it off left tackle and wrapped up for a gain of a couple at the 39. Jermaine Reeves stopping him. And Preston Brown also in there, middle linebacker. You've got the Brown boys, Preston Brown and Keith Brown, who is a true freshman who uh, has made 30 tackles, according to coaches' films, over the last two weeks. So the Browns, Preston and Keith, very good in the middle. Now unrelated, Keith from Miami, Preston from Cincinnati. Here's a second down and eight. Lindsey Lamar in the backfield. 
Hands it off. Daniels gives it up to him. And Lamar with more room again across the 25 down to the 24-yard line. Hakeem Smith again with a tackle, but right now, South Florida establishing the running game, Ray. And Lamar Lindsey does a nice job. This ball is supposed to go over to the right side, his right. He sees the gap to the left, cuts it back, and gashes this Louisville defense. Lamar, a senior out of Hillsborough High School in Tampa. He's that speed guy in the backfield. Murray's the power guy. On first down, keeping it, Daniels wrapped up for a loss that time. Marcus Smith, one of the defensive ends. That loses a couple of yards. Take a look at Smith. Now, he was a high school quarterback back in the day. I guess he uh, sat at the table a little too long, weighing 260, 260 pounds now, and still has that athleticism. Second down and 11. Just about three minutes gone here in Louisville. First possession of the game, and South Florida driving at the 26-yard line of the Cardinals. A good blitz. Play clock down to two. They get it off in time. Here comes the blitz, and Daniels unloads, and it's caught at the 19-yard line by the tight end Evan Landy, who's immediately tackled by Preston Brown. And this is one thing B.J. Daniels will do is stand tough when he sees the pressure coming. He knows he's going to get hit more than likely after that one. He hangs in there. South Florida, 47% conversion on third down this year. Demetrius Murray's the back on a third down and five from the 19-yard line of the Cardinals in motion. Incomplete at the 14-yard line and looking for Andre Davis. A couple of red shirts there, though, for the Cardinals. Yeah, Bouchelle, the corner, had man-to-man -man coverage on Andre Davis, and he was very tight in the slant route. Really, there was nowhere to go with it. Daniels had to throw it low to prevent the interception. Good stand there by Louisville on fourth down, on third down, bringing up a fourth. Icon Bonani, replace kicker. Going to attempt a 36-yarder off the left hash out of the hold of Justin Brockhouse Khan. Good snap ball down. It's away, and that splits him. Mike Khan Bonani who has a game winner in the history against Louisville. Knocks it through, and at the 11:03 mark, three nothing Bulls. Motor? Nope. Not motor? It's pronounced motor. For those who were born to ride, there's progressive. CDC guidance recommends topical pain relievers first. Salon Paws has a family of effective first-line pain fighters that are strong and long-lasting, yet non-addictive and gentle on the body. Salon Paws, it's good medicine. <laughs> Finding the right vacation rental can take hours. Luckily, there's Home to Go. With Home to Go, you can search hundreds of websites and millions of offers fast. Whew. Home to Go is the world's largest vacation rental search engine. How does Football Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp compete with athletes half his age? Introducing True Niagen. It helps your body at the cellular level. Increase energy, support metabolism, promote repair. I noticed my energy level started to dissipate. I needed something that was going to give me that boost to get me to the gym. I can honestly say it's been a life cycle. Shannon Sharp, Pro Football Hall of Famer, True Niagen athlete. Stay energized, stay active, stay in the game. True Niagen, empower your life. Go to TryTrueNiagen.com and right now get free shipping. The Ocho is back and bigger than ever. If you can play it, we cover it. Wow! Witness the incredible intensity. This is high octane lawn care, baby. The breathtaking beauty. We're getting dangerous now. And the awesome athleticism. Beautiful technique. Amazing sports feats from all around the world. Only on ESPN 8, The Ocho. All day, August 7th on ESPN 2. Presented by State Farm.
The ESPN Daily. One email every morning to get you caught up. Sign up now at ESPN.com slash daily. From Papa John's Cardinal Stadium in Louisville, Kentucky. College football on ABC presented by Kay Jewelers. South Florida and the Louisville Cardinals. South Florida, thanks to a 36-yard field goal, have the early lead in this game. And in the Big East, Rutgers winning earlier today. So they're 4-0 in conference play. One of three unbeaten still remaining in conference play. And by the way, with Ohio State coming back to win, that means there are still 12 unbeatens in the FBS. And that includes Louisville, Ray. And they've still got a lot of big games left on their schedule, having both Rutgers and Cincinnati coming up. Handoff to Mitris Murray. Straight ahead up near the 19-yard line. Preston Brown, the middle linebacker, stopping him. He picks up three. It'll be a second down and seven. Redshirt senior B.J. Daniels out of Tallahassee, Florida. Had that big win early in his collegiate career in 2009 over Florida State. Now here he is as a fifth-year senior. Trying to snap a four-game losing skid for South Florida. He's only a fifth-year senior. I thought he had more time in than that. <laughs> He's been around a while. Daniel slings it too far out of reach of Victor Mark. <laughs> Let's take a look at our impact players for South Florida, brought to you by Chick-fil-A. Well, Demetrius Murray and Lindsey Lamar split duties in the backfield. Murray, the power runner. Lamar has got the speed to go the distance at any given time. And then on defense, D.D. Lattimore, the big linebacker, is playing extremely well here early on as the Bulls did a great job in that initial opening drive of shutting down the Cardinal run game. South Florida 0 for 1 on third down so far. This is a third down and six. Daniels under pressure is sacked. Back at the seven yard line by Lorenzo Molden. Just a sophomore Molden out of Atlanta, Georgia. And B.J. Daniels has got a crossing route. You see the two guys crossing, and he's trying to make it clear for Victor Mark to, to break open. But Malden just got there. Justin yeah. Brockhouse-Kahn is seven yards deep in his own end zone. With Scott Radcliffe to receive the punt at the 45. Radcliffe doing the punt returning for Kai Dominguez, who has a high ankle sprain and having to back up to the 47 of Louisville. Fair catch for Scott Radcliffe. 44-yard punt. And it's defense for the Cardinals that gets them the ball back in good field position as they trail 3-zip. 4.41 left in this first quarter. South Florida, thanks to a 36-yard field goal for Mikon Bonani, lead it 3-0, and the Cardinals take the football for the second time their first drive Teddy Bridgewater and the Cardinals began at their own 17 this time they begin at their own 47 and have not been able to get the running backs going thus far just one yard combined between Perry and Wright on four carries Jeremy Wright in the backfield it's part of the eye formation here again as Louisville takes over for their second possession at their own 47 they had scored on their first possession of five of six games coming in, but had to punt on their first possession of this football game. Right? Not much there. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. D.D. Lanamore, among a few others, able to bring him down. No gain. Let's take a look at the Chick-fil-A impact players for the Cardinals. Well, it's the two running backs, Perry and Wright, that we've talked about. Guys are interchangeable. Both of them explosive, have excellent feet. And then Devontae Parker, big wide receiver at 6'3", 204. He's a mismatch no matter where they put him. He, uh, according to the coach, poised for a breakout game. Bridgewater is going to dump it off to Radcliffe, who has the first down. He steps out at the 39-yard line. And Bridgewater with the good play fake. Rolled out left and able to complete it to Radcliffe for a gain of 14. And he's just going to come around and continue with it from the backside. Give Teddy Bridgewater the credit on this one. And he does that so often. Makes so many great decisions late in the down to keep things going. First down Cardinals under four minutes to play in this first quarter. Bridgewater lets it go. Caught out in the flat. At the 40-yard line, but immediately tackled there is Wright, who came out of the backfield. 
So Quez Jenkins with the tackle. You see what Teddy Bridgewater did last year as he brought uh, the Cardinals back from a 14 point deficit to beat South Florida. And catching two of those touchdowns was Devontae Parker. And we'll see if they figured out how to cover him yet from last year. 34 24 Louisville was the final last year. Last time these teams met here, Papa John's Cardinal Stadium, South Florida was the victor. Sonoris Perry at the 32 yard line. Richard Quiet bringing him down. Sonoris Perry had a huge week last week at Pitt. Four touchdowns and 101 yards on just 12 carries. That's a pretty productive day there. In fact, he got, took a lot of teasing from his teammates because he and Jeremy Wright kind of split carries and they exchange uh, between themselves as far as who's on the field. So everybody was giving Perry a hard time about being the touchdown guy. One and two on third down so far today are the Cardinals. Third down and three. Four receivers put out two to each side. Bridgewater. First down at the 25. Devontae Parker to the 15. Well, you mentioned how he had two touchdown catches against USF last year. A big catch there for a first down and a gain of 16. And it's just going to be a dig route up. He's just going to run straight up the field, get that defensive back to turn his shoulders. And once Parker had that done, he knew he had the inside move for the first down. Parker leading Louisville in catches on the season had four last week at Pittsburgh for a career high 153 yards. Pretty good average there. First down Cardinals. On the 15 yard line of the Bulls. Keeping it Bridgewater running right Parker with a nice block. He gets inside the 10 a little push there late but our Joyce knocking him out of bounds. This is just a great read from Bridgewater. He's he's reading the backside end, uh, Giddens, and he felt he could beat Giddens. He pulls it, and now you're going to see this hit coming up late. That's what the crowd did not like the the late nature of that hit, and also coming up high. But the quarterback's a runner. When he gets out there, you can hit him as high as you want. Mark him out at the five. So first and goal from the five for the Cardinals. Out of the eye, right is the tailback. In motion. Damian Copeland. Give it to Wright. A jump step. Forward to the two yard line. Nice block by the fullback, Nick Heiser. You know, I talked about this just briefly a moment ago. Sonoris Perry and Jeremy Wright kind of control their own substitution, which is very rare in the college level. Usually it's a coach that will send guys in. These two guys have it to the point where they kind of just. Look over at each other, point back and forth. They actually control when they're in and when they're out. And you see that Jeremy Wright did not take himself out. He wants to get his touchdown. I was going to say, after four <laughs> touchdowns last week for Perry, it's Wright's turn. Wright trying to even the score a little bit here. In motion, Hubble. Second and goal. Wright, will he get it in? No. Nice tackle there. Well, I felt if Wright would have taken that outside. He probably could have walked into the end zone. He tried to duck his head down in behind those blockers, but boy, he had it to the outside. Sam Barrington helping to bring him down, and now he comes the touchdown maker. Here's Perry. <laughs> Has nine rushing touchdowns on the season to lead Louisville, including the four last week against Pitt. And and Wright has six, so it's not like Perry's hogging all of them. And, and they won't snap the ball here, Mark. They'll let the first quarter run down. So the 36 yard field goal at the 11 3 mark by Mikan Bonani the only points of the first quarter here in Louisville Kentucky after one three nothing Bulls Jeremy Wright Sonoris Perry eerily similar to running backs for the Cardinals not only in numbers that you see here but in style in size and all those things and now the touchdown maker Perry is in. Ninth play of this drive coming up, which began at the Louisville 47. That's Humble the tight end in motion. Third and one from the one. Perry trying to kick it outside. Kicks the pylon. And no, the line judge says he's out. Just inside the one. That is not a touchdown, and it will be fourth down. You got to see where the football is, is the big thing. And that's the problem. He doesn't stick the ball out. 
It was in his right hand and he kept it behind the the deal. See right there how he gets hey, he actually kicked it with his left foot. That's a good call by the official. They are going to look at it I believe but I don't know. I don't think the ball crosses with him in bounds and that's the key. He's got to have his feet in bounds. Prior to breaking the goal line play. This play is now in a further video review. You heard our referee John McDade and it's going to go to the replay official Jack Kramer upstairs. So they will review this first play of the second quarter with Louisville. And they're running back Sonoris Perry looking for his 10th rushing touchdown very close to accomplishing that here. And again take a look he gets to the edge. The ball is in his right hand. That his right foot actually kicks the outside of the pylon. The pylon is out of bounds right there. And that ball is actually swung back behind him because of the way he's running. Watch out where the football is. It is not going to cross before he's out of bounds. As soon as he kicks that pylon, he's out of bounds. And the ball does not cross. I, I think the official made the good call. Bam, right there. You see the ball was behind it. I, I think they made the proper call on this. And, and it should it, be fourth down. After further video review, the ruling on the field stands. Fourth down. So they didn't say confirm. They said stands. Right. Which backs up the call on the field, but not enough video evidence to overturn it. So it's going to be fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They are five of six on fourth down this season. Handoff. Perry. Is he in this time? Yeah. Yes. Touchdown. And USF disputing that. But the official on the far side says he got in for his 10th rushing touchdown of the season. Yeah, I think he did on his second effort to push. I think he got over the plane. Take a look. This is a perfect look right down the goal line right there. Bam. You can, can't really see the football, but you can see the rest of his body. And in my humble opinion, he definitely broke the plane right there with the ball. That's a touchdown. So again, touchdown number 10 on the year for Perry and the point after for John Wallace. And the Cardinals didn't score on their first possession as they have so many times, but they do it on their second possession of the football game. Early second quarter, 7-3 Louisville. This is Elvenar. A mystical world waiting for you to build your own unique city. Invite ancient friends, the dwarves, fairies, and orcs, to ensure growth, wealth, and peace for your new home. Elvenar. Available in the App Store and at elvenar.tv. Play now for free. Give me a racket and watch me go. Because I won't come back the same. Sometimes I'll come back with scratches and scrapes. Or with stories of great shots and close shaves. Of wins for the history books. And of losses I'll never forget. But watch me smile. Say good game. And put my racket away for now. But not for good. Because I'll have seen what I can do. And I know greatness. Greatness, greatness is waiting. Sign up with Net Generation, official youth tennis of the USTA. The music event of summer. Country music's biggest stars perform their hottest hits with epic collaborations including Carrie Underwood with Joan Jett, Brooks and Dunn with Brothers Osborne, and the first time ever, Lil Nas X, Billy Ray Cyrus, and Keith Urban perform the hit, Old Town Road, hosted by Thomas Rhett and Kelsey Ballerini with special guest host Bobby Bones. See you later! Sunday, 8, 7 central on ABC. If something happened to you, what would happen to them? Their home their education, their future. You need life insurance, and chances are SelectQuote can help you get it for less than a dollar a day. SelectQuote found Jacob 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And SelectQuote found his wife Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Our secret? At SelectQuote, we aggressively comparison shop up to 10 highly rated companies to find you the company with the best rates. We found Gary, 35, a $1 million policy for only $22 a month. Why pay more 
Give your family the security they need at a price you can afford. Call 1-800-781-6807 or go to selectquote.com now and get the insurance your family needs. At a price you can afford. Select Quote. We shop, you save. A few blocks from Churchill Downs is Cardinal Stadium here in Louisville, Kentucky on a homecoming Saturday with 9.24 to play till halftime. Cardinals leading 7-3. Well, the rain and the monsoon was a factor. Louisville at Southern Miss earlier this year on September 29th. Look at that. 21-17, Louisville would be the final. But in those kind of conditions, Bridgewater didn't have a chance to throw the ball very much, couldn't throw the ball very much, and they really depended on their ground game. And Charlie Strong's team was able to come away with a win. Then had the open date. Then won last week at Pittsburgh. So they are home today for the first time in 35 days. Yeah, September 15th. That was their last home game on the 15th of September against North Carolina. First down Cardinals. Again from their own 20. Bridgewater rolls right. Connects to Eli Rogers. First catch of the day for Rogers. Who had a touchdown in that win over North Carolina. You see a game within a game as Teddy Bridgewater is pointing out a lot of different things. He's very good at making dummy calls and changing things around. You're going to see South Florida trying to make late adjustments to adjust to what Louisville has done. But Teddy Bridgewater outstanding, not only making the calls, but mixing in dummy calls as well to confuse the defense. He has completed a pass to seven different receivers already in this game. It's hubbled the tight end in motion. Handing off Perry. The 28. Corey Grissom. There he is, number 46. The guy they call Pork Chop. Yeah. <laughs> Redshirt senior out of LaGrange, Georgia. One of the leaders on that defense for South Florida. A guy who broke his ankle in a drill in spring. And was able to come back and make it for the opener for them this year. Teddy Bridgewater talked about Grissom. Said he's a guy that really gets the South Florida front seven going talks a lot during the game and, and just is out there having a good time. Double in motion again. This is Jeremy Wright with the carry now near the marker. Well, that's going to be close. It was third and two. And he had to get to the 30, I believe, right? It was a touchback. So first down. First down. Bridgewater with time dumps it underneath Eli Rogers with a second catch of this drive and some nice yards after the catch over the 45 yard line Boy. stop more Rogers Bridgewater did a great job going through his progression he wanted to post down the middle of the field but the safety was leaning towards that so he takes his eyes to the next read drops it off and they get some yards after the catch from Rodgers to move the chains give Teddy Bridgewater the credit there for going through his progression right the back first down from the Louisville 46 yard line they lead it 7 3 just over seven minutes to play till halftime. Bridgewater play fake goes to the sideline caught at midfield and stepping out of bounds Jared Davis just the second catch of the season for the junior Davis out of Tyrone Georgia Bridgewater perfect on the day 10 for 10 and the accuracy of his throws just that last one you know I mean that was as well a thrown ball it wasn't a big deal just a little out pass but he's throwing it to perfection Bridgewater 10 completions to eight Different receivers. That's what you call using your weapon right there. He has a lot of them. Flag comes flying. Ball start, number five. Chucking his hand, simulating the start of the play. Second down. You don't see that called a whole lot. Yeah, you can't slide your hands forward like you're receiving the ball. And he definitely did that and got called on it. First Louisville penalty. That is Teddy's mother, Rose Murphy. She's letting him know how she feels about that one. <laughs> so what do you mean, chucking the hands? Rose wearing her pink, breast cancer survivor. That makes it a second down and nine. All back 
to the 47 yard line of the Cardinals. Bridgewater gives it up to Perry. Met though at the 48 yard line by Tevin Mims and some others from South Florida. Gains about a yard. Richard Pliat getting back in there. He's becoming a a big part of this ball game. They really missed him while he was out. But this front seven for South Florida is playing very well so far in this game. They have shut down the run for the most part. The only one who's really hurt him with anything is the scrambling of Teddy Bridgewater. Who has but those backs, he's been stopping them. 31 yards rushing for Bridgewater of the 47 total for the Cardinals. Third down and eight. Number three of five on third down today. Steps up, Bridgewater. Let's it go and has a man wide open at the 37 yard line. Damian Copeland first down to the 27 of South Florida. The way he keeps his eyes down the field while he's running around really makes all the difference. Watch his eyes if you can see him. You see he's looking down the field still even though he's got rushers coming after him all over the place. He keeps his eyes down the field and finds the open receiver Copeland in this case to make a big play out of what looked like a, a tough play a bad play a big play that goes for 24 yards first down Cardinals from the 28 Norton Hubble moved to the left side of the formation Hubble now in motion Bridgewater Perry at the right tackle forward progress stopped which ends the play D.D. Lattimore there to meet him there's D.D. the redshirt junior out of Athens Georgia Leading tackler for USF coming in. All right, he does a great job of getting off of blocks. That's one thing Lattimore will do, and he's he's really strong upper body. When you try to take him on upstairs, you're going to lose that battle. Second and ten at the 28. Three receivers to the left for Bridgewater. Takes the handoff to Perry, and now Bridgewater steps up. He's going to run with it inside the 20. Has a first down, tumbles down near the 10-yard line. It'll be another first down for the Cardinals. It picks up 17 yards. He has been their rushing game today. He really has, and he just makes another great decision with the football. You're going to see the, the pressure break down. It's Mims with a spin move who gets through there, and Bridgewater this time sees the opening to run. And then he also is smart enough to get down so mom doesn't have to see her boy <laughs> take some shots. Mom Rose happier with that. Tenth play of this drive coming up. Here's Louisville in the red zone again where they've been so effective this year. This is 28 trips they've made. They've scored 27 times. So this is their 29th red zone trip of the season. Turns into more points. Rushing touchdown for Jeremy Wright, his seventh of the season. So Perry and Wright each have a rushing touchdown now in this game, and it's 13-3 Cardinals. And they pull the center, Mario Benavides, and he gets the big block to lead the way for Wright to get into the end zone. Watch this big center and the right guard. They're both pulling out there, leading the way. Bam, bam. Block the two guys at the point of attack, and... Turn it over to Jeremy Wright and let him finish the job. So the 11 yard touchdown for Wright, a point after from redshirt freshman John Wallace. And it's 14 3 Louisville with just 338 left. And this Cardinal offense getting it in gear. They get another one out of the running game to take a big 14 3 lead. Ever since I was little, I'd open the fridge and see a world of possibilities. Finding ways to bring people together, that's a revolutionary act. This feeling of home is why I'm launching Shop Homemade with GoDaddy. What's your idea? Make the world you want. Why do so many homeowners start home repair and improvement projects at HomeAdvisor? We know we're going to find the right pros for absolutely any project. I love that they're local pros. I know I'm getting real reviews from real homeowners. And with their cost guide, I can check what other people have paid for similar jobs, so I know I'm getting a fair price. Then I can check their schedules and book an appointment online. Did I mention it's free? And that's the best part. <laughs> Go to HomeAdvisor.com or download the free app. HomeAdvisor. Allergies make me miserable. It's hard to breathe and sleeping's awful. My doctor told me about Navage for allergy relief without drugs. 
Navage relieves congestion fast by pulling saline in one nostril and out the other. Navage flushes out allergens, pollen, mucus, and germs. I can breathe again and I sleep better. Navage is like nature's decongestant. Find out for yourself and stop suffering. Try Navage for 90 days with zero risk when you buy online at navage.com. I finally figured out what car to get. Now, where to find the best deal? What's that? Car gurus. Two grand below market value, five star dealer rating. Ooh, I'm beat. Car gurus. Find great deals from top rated dealers near you. I used to spend my mornings like this. Endlessly scrolling and searching for all the latest sports news. It was not great. But now I have the ESPN Daily. It tells you everything you need to know, what to watch, and much more. One email every morning to get you caught up. Sign up now at ESPN.com slash daily. Still waiting for the sun to break through here in Louisville on this great Saturday. 3.31 left till halftime. Louisville leading South Florida 14-3. And now for today's AFLAC trivia question coming into today. B.J. Daniels ranked fifth all-time in total offense in Big East history. Who is the all-time leader? Mm. Daniels, by the way, 22 total yards so far in this game, which is indicative of... Yeah, we thought that he would have a chance to move up into the third spot today, but... At this current pace, he'll stay in the fifth spot. After the penalty on the kick return, they begin their own seven-yard line, trying to get a little more breathing room. Demetrius Murray across the ten-yard line for a gain of four. Now, USF began the football game with the ball, went ten plays, 71 yards, settled for a Bonani 36-yard field goal to take an early 3-0 lead. Since then, three possessions, 11 plays, nine total yards prior to that last play on the ground run by Murray. Again, Murray tumbling forward, spins up near the 14-yard line. Jermaine Brooks, there's some pressure there. There's no big number 99, who's from Miami, Florida. And the list of Miami players and Florida players on this Louisville roster is a long one. Yeah, they've got... Uh bunch of guys just out of the Miami area itself the city of Miami and five kids from Northwestern High School in Miami with Teddy Bridgewater of course being one of those from Northwestern third down at three at the 14 and that's a first down run for Murray Preston Brown with the tackle for Northwestern High School in Miami Five players on the Louisville roster from that high school. And these aren't just, you know, guys that fill out a roster. Those are significant uh, contributors. And young players at that. Daniels keeping it. He's going to lose a yard there. Lorenzo Malden going to help out on the tackle. Corbin Lamb was a running back for Louisville. Only has one carry this year, but he's a redshirt freshman. And of course, Coach Strong was at the University of Florida for all those years has great connections in Florida and that's why Louisville recruits down there as much as they do. Second down and 11. Not to mention that's where the good players are. A lot of them down there no yeah. question. Daniels play fake looking to go long this time a high throw incomplete at the 30. Mm. That's Deontay Welch who went up for that football. Personal foul. Legal hands to the face. Number 34 of the defense. 15 yard penalty and an automatic first down. The linebacker George Durant called for the personal foul. Well, that's 94 not 34 right there though that was up top. That was the illegal hands to the face up there. Rushing the passer Durant got his hands up into the face mask. Can't do that. 
Durant, who's from Florida as well, but from St. Petersburg. Former walk-on player is now a scholarship on scholarship. A minute and a half to go in this first half. Slung out to the far sideline and caught on a knee by Deontay Welch. He's down at the 40. Gain of five. And Welch should have caught that previous one, but Daniels showing a little confidence in him. Goes right back to him, and now they're into that tempo again. Just 70 seconds left in the half. Daniels flings it in the air. That ball up for grabs and drops. Oh. Well, both these teams have had terrible problems trying to pick off a ball. Louisville has only two interceptions on the year. USF defense has none, and this one was there for the taking for the Cardinals. Well, here's the pressure, and you see that's what causes it as Keith Brown gets the hit, and this is coming right down to Stephon Robinson. But the big guy comes across and gets in the way and knocks it out of his hands. So South Florida keeps possession, but it's a third and five. Bulls two of six on third down today. Daniels throws right first down upended at the 48 yard line. That's the tight end Sean Price. His first catch gain of eight. First catch of his career Price a true freshman and coming off of a bye week this past week for South Florida. They got a lot of younger guys getting extra reps in practice. Price was one of those and expect him to see more playing time as the season goes on. South Florida has all three timeouts remaining. Clock running as the ball was snapped and a long deep throw down the near sideline is incomplete. So that'll stop the clock with 38 seconds remaining. And while we have a moment, let's answer our Aflac trivia Aflac! question. B.J. Daniels ranked fifth all time in total offense in Big East history coming into today. Who's the all time leader? It's another South Florida quarterback. Matt Grothy. 10,875 yards. Yeah, I guess Doug Flutie on that, but I guess that wasn't in the Big East back in those days. There was no Big East yet. Daniels under pressure again. Still scrambling. Let's it go. And has a receiver, and it's complete at the 31 yard line to Derek Hopkins. They'll stop the clock to move the chains against South Florida. Has all three timeouts remaining. DuBose with the pressure. First charge time out of the half. South Florida. Trying to chase him down. Timeout. Two timeouts remaining for South Florida. They burn their first with 26 seconds left in the half. 14-3 Louisville leading. We mentioned the top five. B.J. Daniels fifth all time in total offense of the Big East. You know Matt Grothy is first. How about in between? You got Pat White from West Virginia. Mm -hmm. Donovan McNabb. Of course Louisville is represented as well. With Brian Brom, and you got to think if Teddy Bridgewater continues, he might be in a closing on those numbers in a couple of years. First down for South Florida and sacked. Did that ball come out? I think it did. Louisville is saying it did, and it did. Cardinals take over with 17 seconds remaining, a USF turnover. Lorenzo Molden with the recovery. Well, watch Daniels. He's going to step up into the pocket, hangs on to the football, keeps it out there, and Molden says, I, thank you very much, and just rips it out of his hand. It's dangerous when you get that ball stuck in one hand like you see right there. And so give Malden the sack, the force fumble, and the recovery all in one, the daily trifecta. It's one way to stuff the stat sheet. And indeed, Bridgewater does, and that's going to take us to the end of the first half. So Bodani field goal made it 3 nothing South Florida. But Perry and Wright with touchdown runs, and it's 14-3 Louisville. That is the end of the, the first half. half. Bridgewater, 48 yards rushing in that first half, as well as what he did with his arm. You ever wish you weren't a motor? Sure. Sometimes I wish I had legs like you. Yeah, is it like a regular person? No. Still have bike half man. Just the opposite. What's the legs on the bottom and motorcycle on the top? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. 
For those who were born to ride, there's Progressive. CDC guidance recommends topical pain relievers first. Salon Paws has a family of effective first-line pain fighters that are strong and long-lasting, yet non-addictive and gentle on the body. Salon Paws, it's good medicine. Looking for vacation rentals? Search Home to Go Florida from $49. Home to Go Texas from $45. Home to Go New York from $59. Home to Go, the world's largest vacation rental search engine. Home to Go. The music event of summer. Country music's biggest stars perform their hottest hits with epic collaborations including Carrie Underwood with Joan Jett, Brooks and Dunn with Brothers Osborne, and the first time ever, Lil Nas X, Billy Ray Cyrus, and Keith Urban perform the hit, Old Town Road, hosted by Thomas Rhett and Kelsey Ballerini with special guest host Bobby Bones. See you later. Sunday, 8, 7 central on ABC. The Ocho is back and bigger than ever. If you can play it, we cover it. Wow! Witness the incredible intensity. This is high octane lawn care, baby. The breathtaking beauty. We're getting dangerous now. And the awesome athleticism. Beautiful technique. Amazing sports feats from all around the world. Only on ESPN 8, The Ocho. All day, August 7th on ESPN 2. Presented by State Farm. This is our stage. The UFC on ESPN+. Plus. Welcome back to ESPN's coverage of college football on ABC presented by K Jewelers. As we prepare to begin the second half from Papa John's Cardinal Stadium in Louisville, Kentucky, where the Louisville Cardinals lead South Florida 14-3. Mark Neely along with Ray Bentley. Glad you could spend part of your Saturday with us. Ray, it's impossible to play flawless football, but Teddy Bridgewater came pretty darn close in that first he half. He really did. He, an extremely well-played half of football. 11 for 11, throwing the ball. He's got four scrambles for 48 yards, but the key to me is the decisions that he's been making throughout this ball game with the football in his hands. Uh, that's about as perfect as you can get as far as deciding, do I throw it? Uh, and when I'm scrambling, what, what do I what can I do and here? Let's take a look at this one first of all little play action He's being chased so he's gonna break out of there a lot of room in front of him He's gonna tuck this one away and outrun some people But here's a smart decision at the end. You don't need any extra yards get down protect yourself now This one he's stringing it out stringing it out has the pressure coming gonna see a receiver right back here And he's just gonna dump it before he crosses the line of scrimmage and it, it's a beautiful thing. Able to complete that to Radcliffe. And Bridgewater, perfect passing in that first half. 11 for 11, 125 yards, and also their leading rusher with 48 rushing yards in the first half. So Louisville will get the football to begin the second half. Marvin Kloss to kick off for South Florida. And here we go into half number two from the Bluegrass State. Eight yards deep in the end zone. Rochelle elects to take a knee. Let's take a look at our Pacific Life game summary from the first half. South Florida got on the board first with a field goal on their first possession. But the rushing touchdowns for Perry and Wright in the second quarter. And the running game for Louisville has not been very good, except for the scrambling of Teddy Bridgewater. And then down there in close with the touchdown runs uh, that, that they were able to get. But not blowing South Florida off the ball by any stretch. They saw the 19 yards rushing in the first half for Wright. Perry with just eight rushing yards, but again, each had a rushing touchdown. Three receivers to the right. It's handed off to right. The 25-yard line is back to the line of scrimmage, or I should say for five yards. Tevin Mims there on the tackle. You know, we talked to Sean Watson, offensive coordinator for the Louisville Cardinals, and he says that they actually save some of their good plays that they worked on throughout the course of the week 
to roll them out during the second half. So you should probably expect to see some different things than what we've seen here in the first half as Coach Watson has saved some goodies. Virtually no gain on that first play, so it's second down and a long nine. And Bridgewater rolls out right. He's going to take off with it. Rolling towards the 31 yard line. Kayvon Webster. You see him give him a little tap to Webster. Those two are very good friends. Kayvon's younger brother is very close with Teddy Bridgewater, and Kayvon close to Bridgewater as well. Passing numbers in the first half 11 for 11 for Bridgewater. And then, of course, that little line down at the bottom. Five rushes for 53 yards. Well, we'll four of six on third down. Bridgewater with time. Incomplete at the 41. Radcliffe. Looked like it hit the shoulder pads. It shot right back out, but it was a great pass from Bridgewater. Well, Radcliffe is the guy, as we talked about earlier, Mark, that he loves to throw it down the middle to. That one a little bit behind him. And Teddy says, hey, I, I still need you to catch that big fella, even though it was not a very good pass. Yeah, second look, definitely a little behind him, but a catchable football. Ryan Johnson to punt. So a three and out for Louisville on their first possession of the second half. Davis ran into his own man, knocked down at the 30 yard line. Daniels slings it out to Derek Hopkins. Just 5-5. Five, five. He spins away from a tackler, but a lot more red shirts come to the vicinity to bring him down. Hopkins, 5-5, five, five, 160 pounds. He's a junior. They call him Flea. And he is a track champion in the Big East. Won the 100 meters a couple years ago outdoor. South Florida had the numbers out there. Just two defenders for Louisville. There were two blockers, but Akeem Smith was able to get off his blocker and make a hit. He had six, second down at four. To 35 of the Bulls. Give to Lindsey Lamar, who breaks through midfield. 40, spun down inside the 40-yard line of the Cardinals by Calvin Pryor. Well, and that's the thing about Lamar is he can flat out get through a small space and then turn on the speed. Bam, right there. He gets into the open field and away he goes. Nice blocking up front and a good play call. They ran backside against just two defenders. That gained 26 and now the pass is off the hands of Mark. That is a pass, not a lateral, incomplete. Mark's a guy we, we've seen him use on that jet sweep a lot this year on tape. We haven't seen that today. No, we haven't. And, and Mark is a guy they like to run after the catch. Hence, you see the little quick screen out there. And as you said, the fly sweep and things of that nature, they like to put the ball in his hands in space. Second and 10. Lamar breaking free again. First down inside the 25 yard line. Pulled down at the 24. Actually, Terrence Mitchell and helping out, but Lindsey Lamar being a big factor on this drive. Gain of 16. Same exact play that they ran before. And what you have is just two Louisville defenders on that side of the ball. And so they're going to keep coming back to it. And they bring another guy over there with the pull from the guard, and they have him out man. And Louisville's going to have to make a correction on that as far as getting enough people over onto that weak side. Bulls first down at the Cardinals 23. Daniels towards the near sideline hits the pylon yeah. incomplete. Lamar was the closest. Good pylon shot. Akeem Smith on the coverage. Well, Rutgers won earlier today, so they're still unbeaten at 4 0 in conference play. Louisville's trying to stay unbeaten. The 6 0 start for them is their best record since 2006 when they began the year 8 0. And they will play Cincinnati this coming up Friday on ESPN. And then their last game of the year. November 29th, they'll take on Rutgers. Demetrius Murray now in the backfield for South Florida. Little shovel to Murray. Pulled down by the shirt by Preston Brown. Preston Brown last year in the game against USF had seven tackles. We had eight tackles in the first half alone today. Right, count up number nine right there for Preston Brown, who has been all over the field. 
That gains six. It's third down and four. The Bulls three of seven on third down. Two receivers to each side for B.J. Daniels. Looking left. Throws. Caught on the slant at the nine. First down. Deontay Welch pushed back. But has plenty for the first down. It'll be first and goal South Florida. And Bouchelle, the corner there, kind of gave the inside up to Welch right there. He played off, played back, and allowed him to get the body position inside. Made it an easy throw for B.J. Daniels. On first and goal, handoff. Murray pushed the pile for close to the seven. And that's Akeem Smith coming in. Again, making a play around the line of scrimmage. Very active as a safety, not only after the snap, but pre-snap. He'll be flying around the field, moving around, disguising coverages, and showing up in different spots. Akeem Smith last year picked up his first career interception in the game down at South Florida. There he is right there. We'll see where he ends up. Second and goal from the seven. Daniels look left as if to say to Welch you need to come in motion he eventually did and then the flag comes out on a false start false start number 76 of the offense five yard penalty second down and it was the left tackle Darrell Williams called for the false start and that's the last thing you need when you're in a goal to go situation That'll push the ball outside the 10 to the 12. So second and goal from the 12. Now Marcus Shaw is the back for South Florida. Two receivers to each side. Daniels looking right. Fade into the end zone. Jump ball. Davis comes down wow. with it. Was he inbounds? Yes. Touchdown. Fourth touch match of the year for Andre Davis, who's 6'1", Ray, but he has the arms of a man that's about 6'7", and he used the arms there. And he was working on Robinson, who's only 5'10". And B.J. Daniels knew he had that matchup, so he threw the ball farther, deeper. And when you do have the matchup, that's what you want to do. You want to overthrow their guy, but make it to where your guy can reach it. And that was just within the range of Andre uh, Davis. 11 touchdown pass of the year for Daniels. Mikeon Bonani on for the extra point out of the hold of Justin brockhouse Khan. And it's a four-point game. Early in this second half, 10.05 to play third quarter. USF heard from here in half number two. They've made it a four-point game in Louisville. How does football Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp compete with athletes half his age? Introducing True Niagen. It helps your body at the cellular level. Increase energy, support metabolism, promote repair. I noticed my energy level started to dissipate. I needed something that was going to give me that boost to get me to the gym. I can honestly say it's been a lifesaver. Shannon Sharp, Pro Football Hall of Famer, True Niagen athlete. Stay energized, stay active, stay in the game. True Niagen, empower your life. Go to TryTrueNiagen.com and right now get free shipping. summer where scarves are in season where haircuts change from week to week but loyalty lasts a lifetime welcome to the party to the family to the season's first piece of silverware welcome to the show the season starts now I'm Steve Austin. Let the good times roll. Good times. Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Good times. Good times. Good times. Let the good times roll. Good times. Get great factory incentives up to $2,500 and low financing on a brand new Kawasaki. Model and your exclusions apply. The best time to buy is now. Visit Kawasaki.com to find your nearest Kawasaki dealer today. 
Do you have $10,000 or more in debt? Are you struggling to keep up with credit card payments? There's a way out. Freedom Debt Relief. Their program could help you be debt free in 24 to 48 months for one low monthly program payment that fits your budget. Freedom saved me a lot of money. I am so grateful. Call 1-800-452-0028 to start eliminating your debt now. That's 1-800-452-0028. Saturday from Louisville, Kentucky, the touchdown catch for Andre Davis capped off nine play drive, 71 yards, ate up almost three and a half minutes. And yes, it was the catch by Davis that finished it off. But Ray, it really was two long runs by Lamar that helped set that up. Yeah, two carries for 42 yards. And both of them, they ran to the weak side of the Louisville defense where the Bulls had more men than Louisville had. So they blocked it up nicely. We'll see if they come back to that and what the Cardinals do to counter. Kloss's kick goes out of, off the sideline out of bounds. So Louisville to begin at their own 35. Let's take a look at today's Good Hands play brought to you by All States. Well, here's what Good Hands look like. And that's that's pretty sweet. Following the ball, staying on it, and getting those big hands out there, making the catch, keeping the feet in bounds. There's your All State Good Hands play by Andre Davis. And his fourth touchdown catch of the year. He had a big day earlier this season at Nevada. Set a school record for both catches and receiving yards. Had 12 catches, 191 yards in that game. That's Nevada's only loss. Yes. And that came in Reno in week two, 32-31. South Florida won that. Davis one catch today, that being the 12-yard touchdown moments ago. So Bridgewater back to work doing what he does best running spinning and up to the 42 yard line. For Bridgewater went for seven yards. He's at 59 yards rushing. Running left. Here comes right. Up to the 49. He has a first down for the Cardinals. Richard Klein eventually knocking him down. But a pickup of seven moves the chains for the Cardinals. Once again, the Cardinals pull that center, Mario Benavides, to lead the way to the outside. You know you have an athletic center when you're leading him out on toss plays. You know, that guy can move pretty good. You know, one thing we haven't mentioned today, Ray, is Cameron Joyner is out with an MCL tear that occurred in the last game against Pitt. Bridgewater finds the open receiver. That's Perry out of the backfield, tripped up at about the 40. So the line for Louisville today really has, has had to shuffle. Cupper's had to play in a few different spots. The, the absence of Joyner is, is big. Yeah, Mac had, had to uh, move up into a tackle, a starting tackle spot, and, and they moved guys around to fill in for Joyner. And I tell you, watching him on tape, getting ready for this game, that's as good an offensive lineman as I've seen. They really miss him. Perry around the right corner, and he looks like he has another first down run. Ushered out of bounds by Mark Joyce. But the running game being others than Bridgewater seems to be starting to flow a little better here for the Cardinals. Red. Yeah, and they got a great block out of Jake Smith, the right guard. He pulled around that time and cleaned up business on the edge to allow Perry to get the corner. Now Bridgewater's running has been a constant all day, but Perry and Wright, though each had a touchdown run in the first half, did not have big numbers, but starting to tack on here early in this second half. See this guy right here, that's Abraham Garcia, true freshman, seeing his first playing time of the year for Louisville. Handed off a cutback, Perry. Link down at 21. By Kayvon Webster. Good for four yards. And it looks like Louisville, uh, the offensive line, might have heard it. A little bit at halftime about the running game and the lack thereof but conventionally anyway they've gotten a lot of yards out of Bridgewater in a scramble but the running game itself has not been up to their standards granted you have a guy injured now you have a true freshman in there but they Charlie Strong expects a lot better production 27 of the 40 plays have been rushes but this through the air and into the end zone touchdown Damian Copeland he came in 
as their leading pass catcher, but without a touchdown. But he picks up his first of this season. Boy, and he just runs a, a corner route out of the slot. And you see the play action. Bridgewater tucks it down and has a wide open Copeland right there. As I said, he just ran a corner route. And there was a clear out route on the outside. Nobody left home. Easy one for Bridgewater. Point after for redshirt freshman John Wallace. And the Cardinals are able to answer the South Florida touchdown with a touchdown of their own. That was key. You know, game all of a sudden, hey, whoa, what's going on? 14 to 10. Time to respond. And that's what Louisville does. A 21-10 lead. Ever since I was little, I've opened the fridge and seen a world of possibilities. Some think cooking is old-fashioned, but in this day, finding ways to bring people together, getting them to stop, breathe, talk, now that's a revolutionary act. This feeling of home is why I'm launching Shop Homemade with GoDaddy. We had everything I needed to launch my new site and share it with the world. What's your idea? Make it happen with GoDaddy. Make the world you want. Sinus congestion makes me miserable. It's hard to breathe and sleeping's awful. My doctor told me about Navage for sinus relief without drugs. Navage relieves congestion fast by pulling saline in one nostril and out the other. Navage flushes out allergens, pollen, mucus, and germs. I can breathe again and I sleep better. Navage is like nature's decongestant. Find out for yourself and stop suffering. Try Navage for 90 days with zero risk when you buy online at Navage.com. Who in life means the most to you? How do you protect her, or him, or them? With Haven Life, you get term life insurance that's actually simple. Our process is online. Our policy is backed by Mass Mutual, an industry leader. And our rate? Well, frankly, it's probably more affordable than you think. Ready for peace of mind? Text us now and get your real rate. The Ocho is back, and bigger than ever. If you can play it, we cover it. Wow! Witness the incredible intensity. This is high octane lawn care, baby. The breathtaking beauty. We're getting dangerous now. And the awesome athleticism. Beautiful technique. Amazing sports feats from all around the world. Only on ESPN 8, The Ocho. All day, August 7th on ESPN 2. Presented by State Farm. This is our stage. The UFC on ESPN+. Plus. South Florida has five penalties today. Four of those five, Ray, have come on special teams. Not good. It just affects your starting position. And it, it hurts the offense. I mean, look, look at where they're at here. At their own 14 instead of out there around the 25. Makes a big difference. Daniels hands it off to Lamar, who's met for a minimal gain of maybe a yard to the 15. D'Angelo Brown, the nose tackle, stopping him. Brown's that true freshman you were talking about earlier, Ray, a guy who was highly recruited. And then the other guy, uh, another true freshman, Keith Brown, the inside linebacker on that side, also was involved. So this good youth here in this Louisville Cardinal defense. On second down and eight, Daniels going deep for Davis. Jump ball incomplete at midfield. Stephon Robinson had the coverage. Robinson at 5'10. You have Davis at 6'1 with those long arms. But Robinson, able to. Yeah, we've already seen it work for South Florida as Davis caught a touchdown over Robinson. And a jump ball thrown up there by B.J. Daniels. And he'll expect his guy Davis to make that play with that long. Uh, a reach that he has, but he wasn't able to get that one. Eighth deep throw attempted by Daniels. Now it's third down and eight from their own 16.
Daniels across the middle. Davis, first down. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Preston Brown on the coverage. He gains 13. And Louisville is playing off and deep on this deal. They're playing zone, and their only goal really is to not have it thrown over their head right here. So they're going to give Davis that underneath stuff, even on a third and nine. First down from their own 30. Handoff. Murray to the 40, a gain of 10 or 11. Preston Brown again with the tackle for the U of L. And Louisville's a, a blitzing defense that plays 80% man to man coverage in normal situations. Right now, they, they're laying back, they're playing zone, and they're playing loose, and they're just not, they don't want to give up a quick big play. Murray. And then, of course, they blitz on that one with Preston <laughs> Brown. D'Angelo Brown, you have four Smiths and six Browns on the roster for Louisville, and none of them related. So it's a little difficult to keep the Smiths and the Browns all separate and coordinated. Who's who? Second down and 10. Slant caught. That's Devario Montgomery, a freshman, true freshman. The 48 yard line, a couple of yards shy of the first down. Well, there's the Smiths on the left, the Browns on the right on the Louisville roster. I imagine they use a lot of first names around here. <laughs> Because you yell, hey, Brown, hey, Smith, you're going to get attention of a lot of people. D'Angelo Brown over to the sideline on this third down and two. Preston Brown's big day for tackles. And there's Keith Brown right up there. Daniels looking to the sideline. Six on the play clock. And off. Nope. Timeout apparently was called by South Florida prior to the snap. Timeout. Timeout. South, Florida. South Florida. South Florida uses their first timeout of the second half. South Florida down by 11, facing a big third down and short. Somebody that's been a thorn in their side, though, today is Preston Brown of Louisville, who has a pass breakup and 15 tackles. A career high. Third and two. Daniels hands off. First down. Demetrius Murray will move the sticks for the Bulls. This good power, good surge from that Bulls offensive line as they actually had a stunt inside and they ran right behind it as Malden tried to stunt down into that hole and he left a big opening for the first down. Lamar now in the backfield for South Florida. Lindsey Lamar with his first career 100-yard rushing game today. Pass off the hands incomplete at the 40 of Andre Davis. Stephon Robinson came in late with the coverage. They've gotten a hand on that. And Robinson squatted on that one and, and jumped inside. Had a chance to take it the other way, but I'm telling you, uh, South Florida's coaches upstairs are saying double move, double move right now if they want to try and jump things like that. Daniels is. looking left. It wasn't there that time, and he gets sacked back at the... 42-yard line of South Florida by Jermaine Reed, but he was looking left for Davis, wasn't he? He was, and he gave the shoulder fake for the double move. He, that's what he's looking for. Watch down here. There's a shoulder fake, and Louisville was waiting for it. Not only was Reed sitting on it back there, they also had the safety in the middle. Uh, Calvin Pryor waiting on it as well. Third sack for the Louisville defense. That lost 10 yards, so it's third and 20. Have to get to the 36 of Louisville for a first down. They're at their own 45. Rolling right. Daniels has some running room. He's going to take it. It'll be about four yards shy of the first down. Is this four down territory with 10 and a half uh, minutes left? I don't know if it's four down territory, but it's four down time of the game. So that combined with 
it's three yards to go. Yeah, and you're in plus territory. All those things combined, I think you go for it here on fourth. And indeed, South Florida going to go for it on fourth down at three from the Louisville 39 yard line. So here comes another crucial play in this game for the Bulls. With just over 10 minutes to play. Murray in the backfield with Daniels. The flag comes out. Play game on the offense. Five yard penalty. Wow. Fourth down. Play clock ran out, and now that changes it to fourth and eight. And it becomes a whole different story. Yeah, I tell you, I'm two and four in a situation like this. I'm going for it anyway. I mean, you've pretty much got nothing to lose. You're going to have halfway decent field position if you do turn it over on downs. You need 11 points to come back, 9.53 to go. I'm going for this if I'm Skip Holtz, and looks like he is too. That'll be the 11th play of this drive. And now, fourth and eight. Davis, the receiver, split out wide to the left at the bottom of your screen. Daniels. First down catch at the 28 yard line by Sean Price. And for that true freshman who has his first catches of his career today, that's the biggest. And they play zone, does Louisville. So that, that's going to give you some openings, some opportunities. And they find the hole in that cover two zone right in front of the one safety in between two uh, underneath coverage guys. That gained 17. First down, Daniels just dumps it off to the back. Murray, who advances to the 21 yard line. B.J. DuBose pulling him down. Pretty good decision there by B.J. Daniels. And then, you know, he would have been sacked, but he found his receiver, his running back, Murray, late in that thing. So give B.J. Daniels credit for keeping his eyes down the field with a pass rusher in his face. Gives it up to Murray, spinning at the 15. Down at the 14-yard line, first down. Keith Brown and Preston Brown with the tackle. Don't forget number one Alabama coming up later tonight on ESPN at 7 o'clock Eastern. Sunshine State battle in Miami and a Lone Star battle in Austin on ABC. That'd be a good time to take a shot into the end zone. It looks like you're going to have one on one coverage out here with Robinson on Davis. Daniels looking left. Throws towards the end zone. Touchdown. Sean Price. His first career TD. A flag is down. Not sure what that sign means. They haven't discussed the flag yet. Well, might have just been a pink towel. Okay. <laughs> Mike and Bonani. So it is a touchdown catch for Sean Price. And Bonani for the point after. Well, the flag comes out there, but I think it's because Louisville was offsides. Yeah, they were in the neutral zone. Well, South Florida, it looks like, finally has the touchdown that they thought they had on that last possession. Lou Holt says, I want that on the kickoff. Well, offside defense in the neutral zone at the snap. The ball will be placed half the distance to the goal. And we'll retry. You know, here's okay, a, now, here's now a can chance you go to for go two. for your two. Actually, it, that's a great call by Coach Holtz. Hey, 21 16 you want to get to 21 18 now you're a field goal away with 802 left in the ball game I think this is a great opportunity after that foul where you only have a yard to go now go ahead and go for your two because the run and the pass are both in play from the one yard line USF one of four on two point conversions this year so they take the point off the board for the PAT it is 21 16 and go for two here with 802 to play to try to make it a three point game 
He falls down, but into the end zone is Murray to convert the two-point conversion. We've seen B.J. Daniels lose his footing a few times on handoffs today, but they convert the two and make it a three-point game. Yeah. He just trips on his own feet here, but here's the touchdown pass. A fake quick screen. He finds his freshman tight end in the end zone for the six. And the dive to Lamar or to Murray. And it's a three-point game. CDC guidance recommends topical pain relievers first. Salon Paws has a family of effective first-line pain fighters that are strong and long-lasting, yet non-addictive and gentle on the body. Salon Paws. It's good medicine. <laughs> Finding the right vacation rental can take hours. Luckily, there's Home to Go. With Home to Go, you can search hundreds of websites and millions of offers fast. <laughs> Home to Go. It's the world's largest vacation rental search engine. Home to go. The music event of summer. Country music's biggest stars perform their hottest hits with epic collaborations including Carrie Underwood with Joan Jett, Brooks and Dunn with Brothers Osborne, and the first time ever, Lil Nas X, Billy Ray Cyrus, and Keith Urban perform the hit, Old Town Road, hosted by Thomas Rhett and Kelsey Ballerini with special guest host Bobby Bones. See you later! Sunday, 8, 7 central on ABC. <laughs> Whether you need eyewear or contacts, ordering from Iconic is easy. That's because a lot goes into making your experience perfect. I have an incoming order, sir. Your order is double-checked, and saving money is easy. Prescription and insurance verified, $220 saved. Choose from over 2,300 styles and more than 60 brands. Get free shipping on all glasses, sunglasses, and contacts. Plus, 10% off your first purchase. Visit Iconic.com today. Hiring was always a huge challenge. Endless hours on job sites with not a lot to show for it. Then, I found ZipRecruiter. They figured out hiring. I post my job, they put it all over the web, and they send me the right people because their technology is smart. ZipRecruiter often sends me the right person in 24 hours. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash direct. Somebody say I am the greatest. It better be tape of Muhammad Ali. The greatest See, he's of the all only time. One. He's the only one that can say that. Louisville native. Well, when we talked with Todd Fitch, the offensive coordinator in South Florida earlier this week, Ray, we asked him, hey, who's somebody that's kind of under the radar we should look for in this game? And he said, hey, number 12, true freshman Sean Price. He's been right on the money with that. Yeah, he, he got a lot of opportunity to work during the bye week. And here you see the fourth and eight, the conversion. He finds a, a void in the zone defense. Then a fake quick screen. And you see Price just cross in front of your screen. He goes and finds an open spot in the end zone as well. The kid's got a knack for getting open. And that all of a sudden has turned into now a three-point ball game as Coach Holtz takes advantage of the uh, neutral zone infraction, the offsides penalty to get an extra yard to be close close enough to run it in and he does with Demetrius Murray to get to within three with eight minutes to go. Each team has two timeouts remaining. Wright and Perry back deep for Louisville. Receive the kick from Marvin Kloss. Louisville answered the last time South Florida scored. Let's see if they can do it again. Couple yards deep in the end zone and he's going to bring it out. Perry still on his feet up to the 34 yard line. Good one going on in Louisville, Kentucky. 7.54 to play, a three point game. Louisville with the football. Faking the pitch, Bridgewater rolling left. Nord the tight end with a block, but not enough to free Bridgewater to make a pass. And then very late on the bench. Seemed like a bit of a push. Nothing escalating, though, from that point. That's D.D. Lattimore, number 34. 
It's a really nice fake by Bridgewater and then a great decision too. There's the fake toss puts the ball on the hip and here he is. He, he makes a great decision because he's got two guys down there and both of them are covered up extremely well. Nowhere to throw it. You give him a gain of a, a yard second down at nine Bridgewater under pressure stepping up going to take it himself running to the near sideline and pull down at the 38. I think he kind of pulled up there. Well, I think he was not quite sure where he was. He wanted to throw the football down the field, and then he realized he was over the line of scrimmage and wouldn't be able to do that, and so just gave himself up as Sam Barrington runs him down. Gain of three, third down and six. Cardinals on third down today, five of nine. There's Teddy's mom, Rose Murphy. Let's sit by and watch a game with. Especially when at some point. The receivers to the left. Right in the backfield. Across the middle too high. Incomplete at the 47. Looking for Devontae Parker. And that was the first. Well, maybe the second inaccurate throw of the day that we've seen from Bridgewater. Had another one he threw a little bit behind a receiver over the middle. And that seems to be where his problems have been today. Throwing it behind receivers who are coming over the middle. Bridgewater was 11 for 11 passing in the first half. Davis back at his own 25 yard line. So South Florida looking to get the football back with loads of time left. Only trailing by three a high short punt. Takes a South Florida bounce wow. back to the 45 yard line. So the Bulls are going to have tremendous There's starting field position. There. But there is a flag down. Back at the 35 of Louisville. Right at the line of scrimmage. So I don't know if they caught somebody uh, offsides in the neutral zone or, or what, but that that flag is very near the line of scrimmage. It was only a 17-yard punt due to that roll. Illegal formation, five men in the backfield on the kicking team. The five-yard penalty will be added to the end of the kick. Timeout. So they're going to be starting at midfield. South Florida only down three with tremendous starting field position. Excuse me. Uh, do you mind being a motor? What could be better than being a motor? The real question is, do you mind not being a motor? I do. For those who were born to ride, there's progressive. I'm your trainer. Your trainer. Your trainer. Here we go. I'm taking up your ink. Bye. You want results? You need a personal trainer in your home on your terms. That's why Nordic Track includes a trainer to coach you through every step. Stride. Push. Pull. And sprint of the way. You feel that burn in your glute? A trainer that live controls your machine to give you a truly interactive experience. Let's go! Stay with me, we're almost done. Right here is where it counts, guys. Three, two, one. Let's go! Making you better is what we do. This is your reward. Interactive personal training. That feels your head. Only at NordicTrack.com. The Ocho is back. And bigger than ever. If you can play it, we cover it. Wow! Witness the incredible intensity. This is high octane lawn care, baby. The breathtaking beauty. We're getting dangerous now. And the awesome athleticism. Beautiful technique. Amazing sports feats from all around the world. Only on ESPN 8, The Ocho. All day, August 7th on ESPN 2. Presented by State Farm. <laughs> This is our stage.
the UFC on ESPN+. Plus. South Florida and B.J. Daniels are going to take over at the Louisville 49-yard line. And South Florida has really controlled the line of scrimmage here in the second half. They, they ran for just 59 yards in the first half. They've got 128 rushing yards here in the second half. And I think that's kind of changed the momentum in this ball game. It'll also pay dividends, open up the passing game a little bit, which we've seen it do. And the addition to the t of the tight end to the lineup has been extremely good to South Florida. Not only has it helped them run the football, but Sean Price, a true freshman, is making some big catches out of that tight end spot as well. Lamar. Pushes forward to the 46-yard line of Louisville. Cornerback coming up to make the stop, Adrian Bouchel. And when you run the football, it, it opens up all kinds of other things, in particular the play-action passing game and then the, the drop-back game as well. Well, those defense move them up. They've only been allowing 114 yards rushing per game coming in. They've allowed 190 as of now there's a pass deep down the sideline it's out of reach but a flag is thrown that was Bouchelle on the coverage the ball did not look like it was catchable inbounds Welch was the intended receiver well, there's definitely some shoulder rub and, and some you know contact there but they're going to call that on Bouchelle it looks like He's in disbelief. Pass interference. Number 25 of the defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. Bouchelle, who was first team all Big East last year. They called it on 25. Calvin Pryor. Uh, I think they, they must have got the number wrong. But that to me is football. I don't, I don't see uh, an interference there. I really don't. Now the penalty. We'll have the ball spotted just outside the 31 yard line and a first down for South Florida still just under six minutes to go. Three receivers to the left and Daniels looking that direction slings it out to Derek Hopkins who's back in the game. He got stung hard earlier in this second half. Preston Brown tackling him after a gain of three. <laughs> you see B.J. Daniels <laughs> <laughs> joking with Hopkins there. Hey, you made it through that one there, didn't you, big fella? <laughs> he did get lit up earlier. The 5'5 junior out of Pace High School, Oklahoma, Florida. Second down and six. Corner blitz. Daniels, shovel pass, Lamar. To the 24-yard line, D'Angelo Brown. Stopped it, but a gain of four. And third and short. Clock running a little over five minutes to go. They are in field goal range. Bonani's long is 46 this year. If he were to kick now, it'd be about a 42-yarder. His career long is 49. Third down and three. And he got it. Across the 20 to the 18 yard line, Demetrius Murray. He hasn't had a lot of yardage on the ground today, Murray, but he's had some big carries to help move the sticks. And he caught Louisville in a blitz where they actually sent the inside linebackers to the opposite side of where Murray ran. Look at that, 137 yards on the ground in the second half alone for South Florida. It's made all the difference. Bouncing off a tackler Murray or might have actually been his own man. He, he's up to the 15 yard line. Murray a fifth year senior out of Buford Georgia. Actually is a cousin to former NFL running back Garrison Hurst. Oh, yeah, that's good bloodlines. Second down at seven. Lamar is the back. Two receivers to the left. Wide left is Davis. Welch in the slot on the left side. Carry the bar, cuts back. But he was able to grab him by the jersey, Lorenzo Malden. And once again, South Florida goes into that unbalanced line. Had two tight ends in the ball game on that particular play. Well, another third down. This will be a third and four. 
Clock running, three and a half minutes to go. Again, South Florida certainly in field goal range. They were stopped. Three straight tries inside the one. And came away with no points on a possession back in the third quarter that is huge right now. Going towards the end zone, and Davis, jump ball, touchdown! Andre Davis over Stephon Robinson, and South Florida has claimed the lead. They got him again, did they, on Robinson. That's twice now. They've just thrown a jump ball into the corner to Andre Davis, who stands at 6-1. Stephon Robinson at 5-10. My guy can jump higher than yours and give B.J. Daniels all the credit in the world because he's the one that makes this throw high enough so that Robinson cannot get to it. Only Davis can. Second touchdown of the game for Davis is fifth of the season. Icon Bonani for the point after. And now, thanks to the two-point conversion on their previous touchdown, they have not a three, but a four-point lead. Here it is again. B.J. Daniels throwing it up into the air. Jump ball to his man. Davis wins. And South Florida takes the lead. Ever since I was little, I've opened the fridge and seen a world of possibilities. Some think cooking is old-fashioned, but in this day, finding ways to bring people together, getting them to stop, breathe, and talk, now that's a revolutionary act. This feeling of home is why I'm launching Shop Homemade with GoDaddy. We had everything I needed to launch my new site and share it with the world. What's your idea? Make it happen with GoDaddy. Make the world you want. <laughs> including Carrie Underwood with Joan Jett, Brooks and Dunn with Brothers Osborne, and the first time ever, Lil Nas X, Billy Ray Cyrus, and Keith Urban perform the hit, Old Town Road, hosted by Thomas Rhett and Kelsey Ballerini with special guest host Bobby Bones. See you later! Sunday, 8, 7 central on ABC. Hey, here's that car we found on Car Gurus. We're going to the dealer this afternoon. Looks big enough for a family. <laughs> or dogs. Play hardball, son. Don't have to. CarGurus rates every car from great deal to overpriced and sorts the best deals first. I could come along. Play good cop, bad cop. We got this. See? Five-star dealer rating. Make sure it has child-proof locks. Parent-proof locks. I heard that. Go to CarGurus today to find great deals from top-rated dealers near you. This is the box that started it all. The box that changed how people buy mattresses forever. This is the mattress so comfortable, people can't stop giving it five stars. This is Casper, the company bringing bedtime back to millions of happy sleepers, one box at a time. Try America's number one rated mattress for 100 nights, risk-free. Unbox better sleep at Casper.com. Pacific Life game summary. DJ Daniels has three touchdown passes. South Florida has come back here in the fourth. They lead it 25-21. Look at USF. Second half total yards rate, 248. Just look at total plays in the second half. South Florida's run 42. Louisville's run 18. Yeah, amazing turnaround. 143 rush yards here in the second half for South Florida. It's made all the difference in the world. South Florida had 59 rushing yards in the first half. Up over 200 on the day at 202. Well, these teams have played some tight ones, some good games in recent years. We have another one here. A touchback, and Louisville will take over at their own 25. Last year was a good game. That was down in the Sunshine State. Despite trailing 17-3 late in the second quarter, Louisville rolled to a 34-24 win behind then-freshman quarterback Teddy Bridgewater, who threw three touchdown passes. 
of the day. He completed 19 passes to 10 different receivers. And that win, that you see him dumping the, the Gatorade, that, that helped him get a share of the conference title in the Big East. But it also ended a streak of Louisville losing in the state of Florida. They had lost every game they had played in the state since 1972 until that win. They've also won in Florida this year down at FIU. You can see what Bridgewater has in it. And his first pass is wide and incomplete of Devontae Parker at the 35-yard line. A little timing route trying to hit Parker on the outside. And, you know, you look at South Florida and no interceptions this season. Only team at FBS without one. The last one that they intercepted was actually last year against Geno Smith. Well, this would be the time to get your first. Complete underneath. Eli Rogers breaks away from a tackle and has a first down. Big run after the catch from Eli Rogers, who he comes in from the slot position and just cuts it across. You're going to see him show up in the middle of your screen right there, an underneath route, makes a man miss, uses the umpire as a blocker. Bridgewater underneath to the back right. He's across midfield and another first down for the Cardinals. Amazing. Teddy Bridgewater able to find a dump down find his back before he crosses the line of scrimmage. He does such a great job of keeping his eyes down the field. Gain of 14. The Cardinals stay in the hurry up. South Florida wasn't ready. They might have used a timeout. They did. So they'll have one remaining. Prior to the snap, second charge timeout of the half, South Florida. It will be a 32nd timeout. 2.36 to go from Papa John's Cardinal Stadium in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville ranked 16th in the BCS standings. Teddy Bridgewater's mom, Rose Murphy. <laughs> She's enjoying herself. Shaking that group thing. And a lot of pressure on her son, Teddy, right now. They need a touchdown, does Louisville. First down for the Cardinals at the 49 of South Florida. Bridgewater. Completed to Copeland. It's a career-high fourth reception for Copeland in this game. Short little in route. Good timing. You can see that South Florida, that defense is playing back. They're giving the underneath stuff up right now. Cover two shell. A flag. Ball start. So they'll give that five yards right back. Ball start. 53 offense. Five-yard penalty, second down. Jake Smith, the guard. Call for that. A guy who's really been a mainstay on their line, even though he's just a redshirt sophomore. He pushes it right back to the 49 of USF. Second down and 10. Bridgewater deep down the middle. Diving attempt incomplete off the hands of Eli Rogers. Boy, Rogers has to have that one. He's wide open, running straight up the seam against a cover two. Nobody there to make a play on the ball. Just maybe a tad overthrown. I'd like to see him get his hands up the other way instead of having his pinkies together to make that catch. Get your thumbs together. You get more extension that way, you have a better chance of catching the football. Watch. See how his pinkies were together? Ah. Rogers, who's from Miami at Northwestern High School, jumping. Lee able to get back. Bridgewater dumps it underneath. Complete. This is the back. Right. He has a first down to the 33-yard line of the Bulls. A gain of 16. Again, Bridgewater finding his third option on that play. Looking outside to a receiver. Not there. He knows where the check down is and hits it. We're under two minutes to go. Clock running. Again, a field goal. Doesn't do Louisville any good. Down by four. They need to go for the end zone. Bridgewater sees a lot of green. He's going to take off. 25 to the sideline. Steps out at the 22-yard line. Gets pushed down late, and a flag comes out. That's going to add to it. Kayvon Webster, who ironically is a very good friend to the Bridgewater family. After the play it. was over, personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Number six in the defense. The penalty's half a distance to a goal line. An automatic first down. Kayvon Webster's youngest brother, Paul, is a very good friend of Teddy Bridgewater. Kayvon Webster knows Bridgewater. Watch well, Teddy slow up right here. Kind of lured him into it. I don't know, man. He, he was, I thought he still had one foot in bounds when the contact was initiated. That's a little ticky-tack for me. 
especially in this time of the ball game. And it wasn't a vicious hit or anything. I would have let that one go. First down from the 11 yard line. Bridgewater to the end zone. Touchdown. Eli Rogers. Came back to him. 11 yard touchdown catch. It's the same exact play where Rogers dropped the ball earlier, only on the other side. They flipped the formation. They ran him up the seam on a skinny post. This time, he's able to bring it in. All right, USF has one timeout remaining. Minute 35 to go. Left them too much time. I, I, I don't wanted to run the football there and eat some of that time. John, didn't. John Wallace to make it a three point game. And he missed it. It was blocked. So this is a two point game. So a field goal could win it for South Florida. Might have been D.D. Lattimore who got a hand on it to block that extra point attempt. It was a, a really low kick. And it, whether it was Lattimore, here he is right here jumping in the background. And I think, yep. it, I think it was Lattimore who got up there. But that's a low kick. You expect an, you expect an extra point. Here he is right here just going to run a skinny post. You expect an extra point to be a little higher than that. But there he is, just crossing inside, gets behind the underneath coverage, splits the two high safeties, and a perfect strike from Bridgewater. He's looking at it the whole way. He knew it was open the last time. He had just missed it. They flip the formation, do it on the other side, and he finds Rodgers for the touchdown to go ahead. Second. One timeout left for South Florida, Mark. And two touchdown passes for Bridgewater. He now has 11 on the season. But the blocked extra point means that Louisville doesn't have in their back pocket the insurance that a field goal would just send it to overtime. A field goal would beat them now. You know, it might actually help Louisville because they're going to have to play tighter defense. They're not going to be able to play that, that prevent defense where you give them all the underneath stuff. I think it may help them. To be taken at the four by Shaw. Hit hard at the 24 yard line. And number 22, Jordan Pascal. Pretty big hit from Paschal. And now here you go. They need to get to about the 30, say, two yard line would give you a 49-yard field goal, which would match Banani's career high. So that's where you got to get. With one timeout, South Florida begins at their own 24-yard line and a minute 29 to play here at Cardinal Stadium in Louisville. They bring the blitz. And Daniels is sacked. Marcus Smith, number 91. Fourth sack today for Louisville. And here he is just right here on the edge. Just an edge rush. And he is so quick off the ball. He beats Daryl Williams on an on a edge rush. Running the hoop. And getting home. First sack of the year for Smith. It lost 10. It's second down and 20. Under pressure hit as he throws. And it floats incomplete at the 30. In the area was Terrence Mitchell. But once again, B.J. Daniels. And some red shirts right in his face. And they bring the blitz. They bring five again. And I, I do think missing that extra point has helped them on defense because now they've had to put the pressure on. They weren't able to play zone and lay back and, and play for them to not have you know, a, a touchdown. They're, they're playing for no field goal. It's a different deal. You come after people. USF 8 of 14 on third down. Obviously, this is four down territory at this point, but it's a third and 20. Daniels incomplete flag. The intended receiver was Derek Hopkins. Preston Brown is going to be called for that interference. Holding. 
Number two, the defense against an eligible receiver. The penalty's 10 yards with an automatic first down. And that's the important part, the automatic first down with 50 seconds to go. Yeah, it wasn't an interference, it was a holding call, but he definitely was all over Welch as he was trying to get into the middle. Well, the penalty will have the ball spotted at the 24-yard line, which is about where this drive began for South Florida. See if they want to bring a blitz again. And they do, five coming. He finds the open man, Davis, trying to get to the sideline and does so. That's actually Welch, Deontay Welch, the sophomore in the Williston High School, Williston, Florida. Well, they missed an opportunity there to tackle him in bounds. They had a chance at the end of that play to get him down before he went out of bounds, and they, they didn't convert on it. Terrell Floyd let him go. They're up to their own 32-yard line. They have one timeout remaining, 43 seconds left. Daniels running, pulled down, but he has a first down, so that's going to stop the clock to move the chains. Third and final timeout of the half, oh. South Florida. It will be Can't a 30 believe they called timeout. that timeout there. Wow. They burned their final timeout with 37 seconds remaining. CDC guidance recommends topical pain relievers first. Salon Paws has a family of effective first-line pain fighters that are strong and long-lasting, yet non-addictive and gentle on the body. Salon Paws, it's good medicine. He sent me to... Allergies make me miserable. It's hard to breathe and sleeping's awful. My doctor told me about Navage for allergy relief without drugs. Navage relieves congestion fast by pulling saline in one nostril and out the other. Navage flushes out allergens, pollen, mucus, and germs. I can breathe again and I sleep better. Navage is like nature's decongestant. Find out for yourself and stop suffering. Try Navage for 90 days with zero risk when you buy online at Navage.com. Who in life means the most to you? How do you protect her or him or them? With Haven Life, you get term life insurance that's actually simple. Our process is online. Our policy is backed by Mass Mutual, an industry leader. And our rate? Well, frankly, it's probably more affordable than you think. Ready for peace of mind? Text us now and get your real rate. <laughs> Finding the right vacation rental can take hours. Luckily, there's home to go With home to go you can search hundreds of websites and millions of offers. Fast. Whew. home to go is the world's largest vacation rental search engine. Home to go. The Ocho is back and bigger than ever. If you can play it, we cover it. Wow! Witness the incredible intensity. This is high octane lawn care, baby. The breathtaking beauty. We're getting dangerous now. And the awesome athleticism. Beautiful technique. Amazing sports feats from all around the world. Only on ESPN 8, The Ocho. All day, August 7th on ESPN 2. Presented by State Farm. This is our stage. The UFC on ESPN+. Plus. Well, that last run by B.J. Daniels for a first down was going to stop the clock. Now, it was going to restart if they didn't call a timeout, but they yeah. used their last timeout. Yeah, I, I don't think that's a good call at all by Skip. You have the clock stopped. You don't need a timeout there. Line up. If you, if you want it stopped that bad, then go ahead and, and kill it, you know. Just throw it into the ground. Does that take away the middle of the field here now? Yes, it does. Go to the sideline. Incomplete. Intended for Davis. Well, with 33 seconds, you can still, you know, hit the middle of the field, but you better get a first down when you do so that the, the clock will stop like it did on that last play when Holtz called the timeout. 33 seconds to go. Louisville trying to stay unbeaten. 
One of 12 unbeatens left in the FBS. South Florida is trying to snap a four-game losing streak. Daniels to the sideline now looking to get out of bounds. Davis. He should wind that clock. He was going away from the line of scrimmage. Boy, they get a break there. They do. They stop the clock. Unless they're saying it's a first down. Forward progress may give him the first down, and I think that's why they're spotting it there and stopping the clock. As you see him, he's going away from the line of scrimmage towards the out-of-bounds line. That means his forward progress stopped. The play stopped in bounds. The question is, was it a first down or not? And I believe they're going to measure now to be sure. And, of course, the clock will stop for that. Coach Holtz is able to actually get a, a de facto timeout here as he's working with B.J. Daniels to try and have some magic of his own. But the magic on the other side, we saw Teddy Bridgewater, uh, an amazing drive to lead his team down to take the lead here in the final two minutes. First down by half the length of the football. So they get it respotted and will restart the clock with 26 seconds to go. The South Florida has to get ready to get to the line quickly, and here they come. No timeouts for the Bulls. And they've now put Floyd right here covering Davis. You remember, he's victimized Robinson a couple of times on jump balls. They switched the coverage on him. Trying to get into field goal range, at least, for Bonani, whose career long is 49. It's down to 16 seconds. He just slings it out of bounds, and by the time it comes down, the clock stops. Well, it kept rolling a few extra seconds down to 11. That's what you get when you have a home There's clock There's no foul operator. for intention of the grounding. The pass was out of the pocket. Second down. The fans want an intentional grounding, but you hear the explanation from referee John McDade. Well, now you, you still can work the middle of the field because the clock will stop if indeed they get the first down. Then they can come up and kill the clock. So the whole field is open and available to B.J. Daniels. Huge play here for South Florida. Daniels down to six seconds. Let's it go. Incomplete, and the clock stops with two seconds remaining. Hakeem Smith had the coverage on Sean Price, so now they just have to go for the end zone. Yeah, and it's it's a little ways, but B.J. Daniels with the strength of his arm, he can reach the end zone from where they're at. A kid can throw it 65, 70 yards in the Second air. Second charge time out of the half. Louisville. It will be a 30-second timeout. The Louisville uses their second timeout to discuss how they want to play this defensively where the only thing that can beat them is a pass into the end zone that's caught for a South Florida touchdown. Well, we anticipated a great quarterback matchup from two South Florida kids, and that's what we've gotten. B.J. Daniels, though the fifth-year senior, and the sophomore Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah, we've seen a couple of outstanding performances in clutch time, too. Teddy Bridgewater, when his team had to have it, he drove him down and threw the touchdown pass, hitting Eli Rogers on a skinny post to give his Cardinals the lead. Now B.J. Daniels trying to match that magic, but he's going to need a miracle here. Two seconds left. They are 53 yards from the end zone. B.J. can throw it that far. So I would expect to see a, a Hail Mary type of throw in this situation. Louisville trying to stay unbeaten, trying to stay one of the 12 unbeatens in the FBS. It's six and oh. South Florida stopped three consecutive times inside the one in the third quarter. That's huge right now. This is it. Game on the line with two seconds left. They got two safeties all the way back inside the 10. Daniels is going to heave it. It's going to come up short and intercepted to end the game at the 11-yard line. Just the third interception of the season for the Louisville defense. Adrian Bouchelle with the pick. And Louisville hangs on to win it on homecoming for the Cardinals, 27-25. As you would expect, <laughs> these two teams come down to the wire. They pretty much do every time they play each other. And you saw the the hug between the former coaching compadres, Skip Holtz and Charlie Strong. 
So Louisville stays unbeaten. They're seven and zero and two and zero in conference play, and they have a huge game on ESPN two on Friday night right here against Cincinnati. That's going to be a huge one. Yeah, that'll be a big game in the Big East. So once again, our final score: Louisville twenty-seven and South Florida 25 for Ray Bentley and our entire crew. I'm Mark Neely. Thanks so much for watching this exciting one in the Big East. The eighth ranked undefeated Louisville Cardinals face perhaps their biggest test in 2013. Four and one Central Florida is in town. Welcome to Friday night with Danny Cannell, Allison Williams. I'm Carter Blackburn. Louisville still undefeated. They have a number eight next to their name, but after a two touchdown win last Thursday against Rutgers, both LSU and Texas A&M jumped the Cardinals in the polls. Difficult to evaluate this Louisville team in this American Athletic Conference, but have they been evaluated fairly? I don't think so. It's been an uphill battle for Louisville from the start because of their strength of schedule. It's really been a no-win situation. Early in the season, they're beating teams by 40, 50 points, and people point out that they're not playing anybody. Then they play a quality opponent in Rutgers. They win by two touchdowns, and it's not impressive enough. Head coach Charlie Strong said, hey, we're going to stop listening to all the noise coming from the outside and go take care of business one game at a time. And they have been taking care of business, especially at the quarterback position, the junior Teddy Bridgewater. He is a special quarterback.